Hey YouTube land, welcome to my channel. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Bugs 5W 4K. Remember the Bugs 5W from last year it was a super popular drone in the year 2018. And also in 2019, a lot of people wanted to buy it. And then the Bugs 4W came out, which was more advanced than the 5W. Well, now they have the 5W released again, pretty much same drone, except it's got a 4K camera. Let me show you what it looks like. There you go, here it is right here, the Bugs 5W with a 4K camera. Now this is the year 2019, and one of the things missing on the Bugs 5W compared to other drones on the market would be sensors. Look at the bottom, nothing. There's no sensors whatsoever. It's a very straightforward drone. It's not foldable. It does have brushless motors. It does have this really nice 4K camera and a micro SD card can fit in the rear, which is good to record the video. There's not much else to it. The battery, where's the, where'd I put the battery? Found it, it was in my pocket. The battery is not very large in size. You get 20 minutes flight time max. Now it's pretty cold out here today. I'm not gonna get 20 minutes flight time. Hey, you wanna know the temperature today? It is 10 degrees Celsius and in Fahrenheit, it's right below. So yeah, I don't expect a long flight time today. I'll run through the features really quick. Hopefully, you know drones, when it gets cold out, uh, they vibrate a lot in the cold, the brushless motors. Hopefully it's not going to do that today or else there'll be jello in the image. If you see jello, it's because of the cold. All right, enough talking. Let's go fly the bugs. All right, we got a little drone out here in the snow. Let's put it down on the landing pad. And I'm going to push the battery in so it starts up. It's one of those. It doesn't have a power switch. It's one of the old style that you push in and it starts up. A lot of people like that. It's very basic. No problems ever. All right, must connect to the drone. You can see right there on my screen, it says drone four. That's the Wi-Fi connection and it does take 802.11 AC type of Wi-Fi. So make sure your phone has that if you buy this drone. The app we're gonna use today is the MRC Pro. Next thing we do is pull both joysticks to the left. That's for the gyro calibration and release them and wait about 10 seconds. Then next we're gonna go into the GPS calibration. These drones GPS calibration is you just pick them up. You don't have to do anything else and spin them three times once twice three times and then point the nose up and do the same thing once twice three times and hopefully all the lights on the bottom will go solid let's see bring it around did we do it right there we go we have i don't know if you can see it solid red solid green so it means it's all set now since this is a 4k drone let me go into the camera settings Right here, you can see I can record a 2.5K or 4K. So I'm gonna switch it to 4K. And here I have all my settings for my, you know, white balance and, you know, exposure, all that good stuff. I'm gonna leave them as they are. You also have some settings down here for the transmission rate. All right, let's start up the motors. We won't have much flight time out here because I was just chatting with somebody over there. So I'm using up my time. Uh, hit this little red button. Motor should start and uh, let's take it up. Nice. All right, so back to the review. Now, one thing I've noticed already is, is just like I said, see it's cold, see it vibrate? When brushless motors get cold, the ESCs inside go a little wonky and they start to vibrate and everything goes weird. So unfortunately, I'm probably, I probably have jello in the image. So I apologize for that. If they warm up, the jello will go away. So right now, let's uh, take it up. See if I can warm it up a bit. So let me show you a few of the features. Follow me right here. Click that, slide, see if that works. All right, the drone is in follow me mode, so it should follow me. I'll go to the snowbank over here. Is the drone following me? Yes. And like I said, if you're seeing a bunch of jello, it's because of the cold. Just like a lot of drones on the market, you can't fly them in the cold. That's why I don't really like doing reviews in the winter. It's not really fair to the drone because I bet you under this video, there's gonna be about 500 comments about, oh, there's jello in the video. <laughs> but you know, people flying this in the summertime, no problem. Hey, I gotta stop walking towards the drone. It's going into that tree. <laughs> it's going backwards. All right, so I'll go into orbit mode, orbit, slide, and here we go orbit 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 i'll try to get in the center you have to set this up in the actual app for what you want your radius to be in advanced uh, it's really simple it's made for beginners and man that sun is bright but it's not very hot out here 
Let's hop out of orbit mode. There is a waypoint mode on here. I'll see if it works. I'm gonna put some little waypoints and at the bottom, I just hit uh, bottom right, I hit submit. Setting, there we go, I say go. And it should do the waypoints wherever they were. Okay, obviously I put a waypoint over there because there it goes. You know, I went in this parking lot because there's no cars, but look at this, there's a car coming up right behind me. Now watch this guy, he's just driving in here, sees a snowbank and he's gonna have to turn around. I think everybody's coming in because they drive in and they think they can drive down here, but they don't realize there's a snowbank here. So you can do cool things like this. Let me see, am I in the video? Get underneath it, look it up, and uh, here we go. Hey guys, see you later. Going, 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 going. All right, I was testing a range test. I got it over to the school the way over there and then I lost communication, so it's coming on back. Now, if I haven't already mentioned the range of this drone, it's rated at 1,000 meters. That's one kilometer. I'll put below what that is in feet. But that's if you don't use your uh, phone. If you just fly it and hit the record button, it will record up to 1,000 meters. But if you want to use your phone, you're only going to get maybe 500 to 300 meters range. And look where it's coming down over there. My landing pad is over here. So it's not too bad. It's going to be kind of crooked in the snow. Let's see. What's it going to do? It's kind of on an angle. And it doesn't know what to do. It's embedding itself in the snow. I better stop it. All right. Here, let me just take it back up. There we go. Get it out of there. <laughs> I'll put it over here. All right, this thing's going to keep on beeping, but I'm going to try to take it up and take some photos. Let me see. It's just low power. There we go. Let's take it up. Go up really fast. There we go. I'll take some pictures of me over here. Those long beeps means it's low in power, so it says that's it for the battery, it's coming down. Nothing I can do about that. It's coming down again. It likes this spot over here. So the landing pad's over there. This is the second time coming down, and it's coming down in almost the same spot in this little snowbank. But let's see if it can land this time. All right, grab my landing pad. So what'd you think of the Bugs 5W? I thought it was pretty good. You know, it is your basic drone. It came out a while ago. They've upgraded with the 4K camera. It was one of the most popular drones on the market. I used to recommend this all the time as a very good beginner drone because it's not very expensive. Hopefully they didn't make it expensive. And to me, it was a very reliable drone. I've never had any problems with it. And I would loan it out to a lot of people to try out to see if they like drones for the first time. And the Bugs 5 always came back and it was in perfect condition and they had no problem. So I've always thought it was a good drone. And this one with the 4K, well, you saw the video, but it's freezing out here, so it's all full of jello, I'm sure. Jello, jello, jello! One thing I forgot to mention is if you fly this in low light, it's pretty cool because what they did with this Bugs 5W is right here, see these little eyeballs? There's little lights in them, LED lights. I don't know if you can see it out here in the bright sunlight. So the little eyeballs glow and it looks pretty cool when you're flying in low light. All right, so that's my review of this Bugs 5W. It is available on the TomTop website. Links are below if you're thinking of getting it for yourself for Christmas or a gift or for somebody else because it should be inexpensive. It's probably on sale, maybe a flash sale. I'm not sure. There might even be coupons. I never know. Anyways, check the links below. If this is the drone for you, check it out and uh, see if it's one to get. It was never expensive before, so I don't think it'll be expensive this time, but I don't know. I never know anything when I make these videos until after the video. Now, if you're considering this drone, an unboxing is coming up next. I'll show you the unboxing and you'll see this drone really close up and all the details about it, so watch that. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much and stay tuned for more drone videos in the future. All right, guys, take care. I'm going in to get warm. See ya. And now a quick unboxing of the Bugs 5W. Check that out at the bottom, 4K right here. First thing in the box is the Bugs 5 Quick Start Guide and some Bugs stickers. Open this up. Here we have the drone with the controller and the accessories. Let's take a quick look at the drone. We have our little bugs here, some branding right here, 4K. The arms are not foldable, neither are the props. The motors are a little bit different, they're brushless. Looking at the top of the drone, nothing on top. Let's go to the side, nothing on the side. Let's go to the other side, nothing there. Let's go to the front, nothing here. And let's go to the back, and that's where the battery is right here. Yank that out. This battery is very small in size. It is a 7.6 volt. 
2420 milliamp battery. Down here we can see our 4K camera, nice big lens up front, and this camera does look forward and move straight down. Let's remove the plastic so I don't forget that later. The micro SD card slot would be on the rear right here. And looking at the side right here, you can see the dampening unit. This newer model comes with some dampening unit and like the old model, if you spin it sideways, you can pull it off. Except this one, you have to remove the dampening unit before you pull the whole camera off. Since I have the drone here, the battery's in it. Let's flip it upside down and see how much it weighs. 417 grams. Next, we have the controller right here and it's one of those nice controllers. Let's take off the plastic off the front. There we go, keep it looking nice and new. Tennis on the back. On the very back is where you attach your cell phone. Arms in the front, so you can hang on to it. It does take two AA batteries in the back, not included. On the front, you get one jog control for the gimbal to go up and down. This one does nothing. This is your speed control. This is your takeoff and land. Take a picture, take a video, return to home, unlock the motors and bind the controller to the drone. And this is your power button. And there's your nice display. Included as accessories, you get four spare props. You get a mini Phillips screwdriver and you get the charging system. Battery goes in here. You put your USB cable into this unit and plug it in the other end into a USB power source. And this will charge up your battery. And that brings me to the end of this review of the Bugs 5W 4K. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in future videos with more reviews. Thank you.